Alright guys, after quite some time, um, as I was studying um, and busy with writing exams, we come back to uh, another painting video uh, for the Deutsches Afrika Corps. Um, as I mentioned in the infantry tutorial, um, I wanted to show you how I paint my Panzerjäger 1. Uh, I already painted it up. Um, because I took part in the Warlord Games Grand Tournament, just like Jan. Um, I won't be doing a, yeah, a, a feedback video um, after yeah, mainly three months now. So, um, yeah, just to say I was pleased with uh, most of the people... Uh, yeah, with all the people I played against, uh, I was not particularly fond of um, yeah, the lists I saw, um, some special rules that were allowed, and uh, yeah, basically in most parts uh, it was pretty cutthroat, um, win at all costs in, on many tables. Uh, also, I had some very fun games with uh, fun guys, and I was very uh, was very nice that I uh, played Sam of the Down Order podcast. We know each other for quite some time now, and yeah, that was fun. All right, uh, so back to the painting tutorial. As you can see, I already painted uh, the Panzerjäger one. Um, I, the crew is from uh, Perry Miniatures. I think it's uh, artillery crew. Um, I don't exactly remember which item uh, it was, but when you uh, search their website, uh, I think you will find them. I will try to put down a link in the description below. Yeah. Um, right, I painted them basically same uh, way as uh, my infantry. Um, the car itself, or the Panzerjäger itself, um, was painted... Um, with uh, spray paints and some basic paints that I will show you in the progress of uh, as there is a tournament tomorrow uh, again at the Bolt Action Interessengemeinschaft Küste which I will be taking part in um, I swept the Panzerjäger for um, this heavy field car with the Flak 36 or 38 no, 36 light auto cannon. Um, yeah, in, as you know, I play the uh, light Africa division uh, list. There, it is only allowed Zander uh, uh, set uh, 10 uh, slash 4, uh, which would be a uh, truck with uh, half track. So, uh, tomorrow in the tournament, I am allowed to take this vehicle, but I will play it uh, as for the rules um, from the half track, so only 9 inch uh, movement. Yeah, um, I th think it seems uh, fitting um, that in the sand, also, uh, yeah. A weird car couldn't drive as fast uh, as it uh, would be on uh, harder ground. So, yeah, I limit myself uh, there a bit. The infantry will be painted, or the guys will be painted just as the infantry, uh, just to mention it again. Um, as you've already seen, um, the color um, here is, uh, I think, pretty. Um, Good for desert uh, forces and also forces, uh, German forces, um, um, yeah, in particular. Um, just f as an example, um, I also used it on my late war stuff, um, as you can see here, uh, Zonderkart Z250. This, this one is from Blitzkrieg Miniatures. Um, yeah, it's painted just. Uh, the same and the color I used is the spray paint uh, as primer I also I already uh, always use the Vallejo um, gray spray primer um, and as the base priming paint after that I use this uh, war paint colors of war deck sand and yeah 
uh, it's a really good color. I think it's uh, dark enough for uh, to be dunkelgelb and it's light enough um, or bright enough um, for yeah the desert uh, stuff and the early war stuff. Um, just to make a brief uh, hint on the future, um, I will also show you how I did the painting of these vehicles, late war stuff uh, for Normandy or yeah, Russia, whatever. Um, three tone, the base paint you already saw. Um, the other thing, uh, all the colors I used are. Um, yeah, I will show you in that video and the vehicle I will be tackling in that video will be this beauty. Um, yeah, you can see the King Tiger with the um, Henschel design uh, turret. And yeah, I will be showing how you can do this kind of um, camo without using an airbrush uh, and also get some soft edges. I'm really pleased with this. Yeah, but I will show you that in a later video. Okay, um, back to the uh, Deutsches Afrika core. Um, as you can see here, I will um, give you a quick hint on the paints I will be using painting it and uh, after that I will again uh, go back to it step by step uh, just to show you the different results in uh, yeah, the different steps. Okay, um, I will just put them here. Um, the first uh, color I use after priming it and spraying it in the desert yellow uh, camo is Citadel Shade Seraphim Sepia just as for the infantry um, and I will be applying a yeah, recess shading, um, not shading the whole miniature with it, um, just with the brush uh, in the different recesses uh, so that it gets some depth between. After that, I will commence with uh, dry brushing of Citadel Lair Ushap de Bone. I think, uh, yeah, it's 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 a bright enough color to uh, give some nice definition uh, on all the uh, edges. And um, yeah, because I'm not exactly and pretty fond of um, doing uh, edge highlighting on vehicles, I always uh, use the dry brush me method. Um, and it uh, yeah comes out very good. Okay, after that I will be painting the tires. Um, you can use two different uh, colors um, on the tires on all my vehicles. I uh, use this Vallejo color uh, seven seventy nine hundred fifty. Uh, it's the basic black. Um, for tricks I like to use um, another color. As you can see here, uh, which is black gray uh, 70862. Um, yeah, and you can shade that with. Uh, I always use the Citadel color um, non oil to shade the tracks. Uh, one thing I always or uh, I often see on different Facebook groups or internet articles is that. Um, yeah, many of you guys uh, like to weather their tracks with rust effects. Um, as you might have already uh, figured out from our videos, um, I was uh, in the German Armed Forces and I was in the Mechanized Infantry. And um, as I can tell you, you only get these rust effects on tracks when the vehicle is standing for some time so that uh, the rust can actively settle in. When you move around with your tank, especially, especially in sand and mud, um, yeah, this will just rub away the rust effect and uh, yeah, there will be no or nearly no rust on tracks from vehicles that are in active service and are used uh, very often. So um, that's just a point uh, that's not annoying me, but uh, just a hint from 
yeah, the real world, uh, how I always uh, saw it in my 13 years of service. So just, uh, yeah, that you could possibly use it for yourself. If you don't want to, it's your model, paint it however you want. It's just a realistic effect uh, I wanted to mention here. All right. Um, after all um, that and the shading itself, um, I um, will do some chipping. Um, like on the helmets from the infantry, I always use Citadel Base Rhinoxide. Um, it's a real good color. Um, I may have been carried away by the with the Panther Jäger here, so um, yeah, it's a little bit heavier than I uh, first imagined it. But after I did it, I th I said okay. Um, in 1942, perhaps there uh, were some severe damages, and uh, the paint wasn't. The first article that was shipped over to Africa to uh, for the crews to uh, restore uh, all the coverage. All right, and uh, after that, the last step uh, is for the desert vehicles. Um, this earthen oxide Vallejo pigments. I use uh, Sienna Claro light Sienna, um, which is uh, you can see it here. It's is a uh, really light and sandy colored pigment and I mix it together with um, yeah, either pigment binder from, from Vallejo pigments or um, you could uh, easily use isopropanol it's called in Germany I don't know the English term but um, yeah basically it's uh, some kind of alcohol and uh, yeah you can mix it together with the pigments and then staple it on or you could uh, just apply the pigments uh, with the brush and after that um, yeah soak in the isopropanol or the pigment binder so that it will stay on the model all right um first thing i will do now shading with citadel seraphim sepia see you again soon so, all right, guys, as you can see here, um, recess shading um, done with the Serafim Sepia shade. Um, as you can already see, um, I'm using this uh, I, kind of messy, but it all gets graded out later on um, when we apply the uh, dry brush and the further weathering steps um, then it will yeah you will see it will be fine in the end um, so the next as you can already see um, just to mention um, I painted uh, the cover of the windshield and also this uh, tar tarpaulin or whatever this roll which with which you can cover the vehicle with a uh, citadel base a steel legion wrap um, i think gives a nice um, contrast to the very bright sand color and you can already see uh, i've painted the crewman um, up to um, the point where I have to highlight it um, the washes are applied um, Reglan flash shade uh, to the fleshy parts and uh, silver film sepia to all the other parts and that will be one uh, step I will do at the end because I also have to paint uh, the driver and uh, three more guys because um, I um, yeah Upgraded all my squads from my Nottingham list uh, up to eight men, and I uh, custom build a medic. Yeah, next step: push up the bone layer, dry rush, and a quick intermediate showing of my self-made medic, um, Africa core body, the. Rucksack and the bag he's carrying is from the uh, US Airborne Sprue. Uh, I filled the inner side 
don't know if you can see it right here um, with uh, some midi put uh, to make it even even uh, yeah cover and um, yeah the helmet uh, is white that uh, pale gray um, I used in the infantry video and uh, yeah that's uh, the stage of the medic so as you can see right now right here um, this is the view after the dry brushing with uh, the Oshepti bone layer paint uh, can't see it so much on the video right now it looks more you can see it better on the model but here here you can see it quite good gives um, a brighter color on uh, the edges and also I um, dry brushed this tarpaulin or cover with uh, the Zenry Dust base paint I mentioned in uh, the infantry video and you can already see that I finished painting the crew member uh, of the flag. Um, the next part I will be doing uh, is to paint the, paint the tires with black paint and uh, the metal parts of the flag um, with black ray um, because this time I'm not using uh, some kind of steel paint like um, how's it called in the yeah natural steel from Vallejo for example or gunmetal steel um, or yeah I don't know the uh, citadel name right now but um, yeah you can figure it out yourself I think okay uh, next step tires metal parts and yeah after that uh, there will be the weathering all right see you soon so all right as you can see uh, the driver is also finished this will be one of the next steps to just glue him into his spot uh, i painted the tires and also the gun and uh, the color for highlighting you can see it here on top um, it's not from the light source itself it's uh, slightly uh, lighter uh, gray uh, it's London gray um, which I use for highlighting um, okay and also one of the final results uh, I've shown you the medic um, he is finished uh, finally highlighted and uh, yeah I put some matte varnish on it uh, the base itself will get some tufts um, also did the chipping on the helmet showing the red cross also on uh, his red cross rucksack and bag um, one thing I didn't mention the uh, left arm is out of the Africa core kit um, and the bag itself is just glued on so that it looks like he's carrying it the um, right arm is uh, also from the Africa core kit uh, it's the uh, German potato mesher hand grenade arm um, I just cut off the hand grenade and I think it looks uh, just fine because he's uh, thought to be unarmed uh, except for his shovel and his yeah, um, his knife. All right, that's uh, for it. So um, one thing I will be doing now is uh, I will start to um, paint, or I have to paint the seats. Uh, I have, will put the driver on and I will paint them with Vallejo 7072 chocolate brown um, for some leathery effect. And after that, I will do. Um, I will put on the decals, um, Africa Corps and the German uh, Army crosses. And uh, after that, there will be this uh, citadel-based chipping method uh, with the little sponges, and also some appliance of the. Oh, I will apply uh, some pigments. Yeah, and. I will show you that step. 
So guys, uh, as you can see here, after the final weathering parts, this is how it looks. Now you can't see the dust it's very good on the video, but believe me, it's there. I used it. Um, yeah, hope you like it. Um, pretty easy way to paint um, these Africor vehicles. Um, yeah, and I hope it will do get me some good results um, on the tournament tomorrow. And yeah, hope you have enjoyed. Um, next will be some videos of our escalation campaign um, coming up. Um, as I finished exams for now, uh, and we have some recording days already scheduled in, uh, there will be some more content coming up in the next days. So stay tuned and uh, enjoy your day. Thanks for watching. Uh, bye.